Hello, Nasser. This is me, your teacher. I'm going over your midterm stuff. I'm going to point out a few a little boo-boos uh, on your SPSS outputs. Number one was perfect. Number two, you made some kind of error, I think, entering the data somewhere. Your numbers were different than mine, so you got a different result than I did. So I'm trying to figure out how to... I have to take a few points off there, and I'll, I'll let you know here in a minute. But number three, the output was really good. Number four, the output, your numbers were just a slightly different than mine, uh, but you got the same results. So I'm not going to ding you too much for number four, but number five was good and number six was good. So overall, you did a heck of a job on the output on the SPSS. So I'm very, very happy with, with your grade. But now I'm looking at your write-ups. So here's write-up number one. Everything is perfect here except for this part right here. Okay. All I wanted here was either a greater than or a less than sign, right? So P is either less than 0.05 or P is greater than 0.05. That tells the reader if it was a significant difference or not. So let me keep looking. Yeah, so this is the one where your data was, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, input wrong or you must have clicked a button or something wrong <clears throat> because you got a different output than I did. Uh, in my test, it was significant. Your test, you got no significance. So I'm going to have to knock you off a few points for this one. Here's number three. It looks almost perfect to me. Uh, 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 uh. And you do what I do, right? The normality test, It's the real name is Kolgomorov, Smirnoff. So, but we just all call it Smirnoff, so you're acting like a real statistician. I'm really happy about that. And then again, this should be either right here. The P, I'm looking for either a less than or equal to sign. Don't write in this number. I don't know what that number means, but, um, oh, that's probably the P value. In, in some papers, you could just write P equals whatever the P value is, okay? So, again, that, that's up to the whoever's teaching this stuff. So if you want to write what the P value is, just write P equals 0.344, okay? So I'm not going to ding you for that. Next. Here's number four. Again, you did a really good job. Uh, a few pointers. So this first one. You're kind of right when you said Levine's test of normality, but what the word I was looking for, the assumptions, right? What are the assumptions of an ANOVA? Is normality, homogeneity of variance, which is, which is tested using the Levine's test, and the last one is independence of observation. Okay, no biggie. Uh... And this is the one, number four, you had, your your numbers were a little bit different than mine. So we got the same conclusion. So I think I'm just going to take off one point because somewhere down the road you might have you might have typed in a wrong number or something like that. But the write-up was perfect according to the numbers you got. <clears throat> so I'm only going to take you off one for this total. So here comes number five. Okay, planned comparisons. Uh, planned has two ends in it. I want you to start using your dictionary. I use mine all the time. And it looks really, really good. You got the exact same conclusions I did, except for one minor thing. When when we compared a, one of the groups to all the other groups, you got your uh, you got the the test statistics incorrect. It should have been T uh, twenty five people in in all the other groups combined, and then. SPSS gave you the total for the other other groups, okay? So this part was wrong. I'm going to have to knock you off a couple of points for that one. And as with this one up here, right? So this should have been T parentheses 25. And I got a T test statistic of 4.76, which again was less, but less than 0.05, which was significant. But we got the same results, okay? So, But I'm going to have to ding you off like two points for that one. Nothing major. All right, here comes the last one. Okay, this one was almost perfect, too. One minor exception. Uh, your degrees of freedom. Okay, so for your first for your first spot there, that is the number of groups you have minus one. So we had six measurements minus one. So that's five. And this second group, that is your, that is your error term within group uh, degrees of freedom. That, that number should have been much higher. Okay, so this should have been 5, 30. Again, that's minor. I'm just going to take off one minor point. But overall, you did really, really good. And I'm going to send out the grades here to you. 
uh, in a few minutes. I'm still waiting for one of your classmates to finish everything, so I'm not going to post the grades until I get everything. But I'm going to send them to you. You did very, very well. I'm very happy with your overall scores. So keep up the good work. MGZ, out.